In the central part of India, there are three large national parks, Shivpuri, Bandhavgarh, and Kanna. These mountains and the forests that surround them are home to the richest wildlife in the country. I have come to the Kanha National Park. Here there are different types of jungles and forests and in them very varied and very lively fauna. The langurs love the leaves and the fruits of the trees. Like the primates that they are, these monkeys live in groups, all together, males, females and young. The family of the langurs does not live alone. The chital is the most abundant herbivore in these parks, and like all good herbivores, they live in herds. They form the basis of the diet of the large carnivores, especially the tiger. That is why they must always remain on the alert. The langurs and the chittles get on well together. The monkeys, who can be rather fussy eaters, take a couple of mouthfuls, taste it, and then throw it to the ground. For the chittles, these fruits and berries are manna from heaven. As well as providing them with a variety of fruit, the langurs are also magnificent lookouts. If a leopard, tiger, or jackal approaches, the sentries up in the branches immediately sound the alarm. There are plenty of young because the female chittles give birth frequently, once every six months, and they happily play together. A harmonious relationship between two very different species, sharing the forest that created them. <laughs>